This self-adhesive backsplash looks really nice, but there's a learning curve to it. In this video, I'll go through some tips that'll make your learning curve less. You can mark these tiles with a pencil and then cut them with a pair of scissors. The tiles are in panels with these interlocking tabs. Now, even though you can cut them with a pair of scissors, it's not gonna be as straight if you cut them with a knife. In most cases, the scissors are all you need. Sometimes I'll cut them with scissors and then kind of grind them off with a sander. Then everything's really nice and clean. A lot of the times I leave the paper on and then stick it, then pull the paper out when I know the alignment's there. That way I can make sure everything aligns before I press and stick it. Working around outlets is definitely a challenge. Using a chisel can kind of help knock out these little sections. Then you can snap everything off with a pair of pliers. Now this edge may be a little bit rough, but the outlet cover is gonna cover it. You'll need to cut the adhesive from the backside, then double check the fit before you stick it. As you can see, outlets are definitely a challenge. Measure twice, cut once. You wanna make sure you cut power to the outlets while you're working on them. You certainly don't want any surprises. Here we need to trim off just a little more. It's easy to try to cut off more than try to add material. Now as we get to the end, this is gonna get a little tricky. To fit the tiles inside this termination strip, you're gonna have to pull the adhesive off. This is easier said than done, but you can see how nice it fits when the adhesive's off. Very close tolerances. You can see you've gotta have that adhesive off. You can buy these termination strips with the tile at the store. This pencil line is where we want the termination strip to end. So I'll cut the tile about an eighth of an inch away from this line. I'll get this outlet all buttoned up because this termination strip is definitely a challenge. Got the tile cut about an eighth of an inch back. Now we'll start to remove all this adhesive. Like I said, easier said than done. Just start scraping. It's going to take some elbow grease. It's rubbery. It's gooey. It's hard to come off. You can see it's possible. Now I'm going to do this to all three tile panels. Then I'll put the termination strip on and put them all three on at the same time. Then I can adjust the termination strip to the edge of the pencil line. I want everything to line up perfect before I start pulling off this adhesive. There's a lot of adjusting on this last piece. You might want to pour another cup of coffee on this one. Just take your time. Everything will fit. There we go. Now we'll do the final adjustments. I'd say everything looks real nice. If you have thoughts, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.